one of the big innovations in version 10 is the launch of the SAP web clients. Um, this allows you to uh, uh, access SAP from uh, a browser. Um, the recommended browsers are either Chrome or Firefox. Um, so I'll just give you a quick demonstration of the uh, how the how the web uh, browser looks. So first of all, you log in, select the company you're going to log into, and log in with the username and password. You're then presented with um, a home page which is configurable. So as you can see uh, on my home page, I've got uh, I've got uh, details of how many sales quotations are open, how many uh, sales orders and sales invoices. And you have each one of these groups uh, available on the tabs across the top there. You can see, so go back to my home page. These are all these are all configurable in terms of adding these extra tiles. Uh, you can click on one and then that takes you into the tile itself. This tile is a list of uh, my open sales invoices. Um, you have different views um, that you can save. Um, this one is filtered by my by, by my uh, current user. So that's showing me my uh, invoices, the ones that are, are owned by me. You can go to the standard view and this will show you all sales invoices. As you can see there, the filter now is left blank. Um, so therefore it's showing you every invoice that's uh, on the system. You can ad you can adapt these filters so you can add um, filters to to the list and you can set defaults in those filters um, and and then and then save that view um, to save you keep uh, adding the filter to the view. From this view you can uh, you can drill into the actual invoice itself by clicking on the line or clicking on the right arrow at the end and that takes you into some details um, that are presented on the screen about this particular sales invoice. And the, the screen will be split into similar kind of tabs to the ones you see in the traditional clients on a desktop. So you've got the general tab, contents, logistics, accounting and so on. And you can see the status there of the invoice and the total amount of the invoice. You also have some uh, options here to edit, create a new invoice, cancel this invoice, duplicate, uh, create an activity against this invoice. I'll look at the relationship map and print it. I'll preview on the screen and then print it. So if we look at the relationship map. You can see there um, it looks similar to the one in uh, in the standard client. Um, um, but you've got these pictures across the top. So we can close that down. And we can step backwards and we're back to the to the view of the invoices uh, that are on the system. You can also from here, you can graph graphically look at your invoices so you can click on the chart view. From here, you can then chart your invoices so you can it can be as simple as selecting to count the invoices by customer name. And this will give you a chart of how many invoices you've got for each customer. You can mm. view the chart in different oh, forms. <clears throat> you can also do by value, so you can you know this. here and show total value. You can re get rid of the count, yep. and then you've got then a list of value invoices, or customer invoices by value, shown as probably the best one is a bar chart, so you can see microchip as as uh, you've raised the most invoices to. Okay. So we go back, back to our, um, back to our home screen. Now, as I mentioned, th this is configurable. Also, by clicking on the me button there, this takes you into your your particular settings, and you can make some changes to the way the uh, web client looks by clicking on the settings button. Um, you get basic information about your account. You can change the appearance and you've got three choices there. So if you wanted it in, in a black um, a look, you can click on that one, click save, and then the uh, the screen changes to, uh, to the tiles being black. You can go back in, change it back again. I think I prefer this one, so we'll go back to the original one and save that. OK, you get the idea which um, there's certain configuration you can make to the look and feel. 
uh, things like uh, home page you can say just show one group at a time or show all content so if we click show all content we can then save that and then instead of just seeing the home page you see all the other tabs shown down the screen so you can scroll down sales purchasing business partners analytics uh, useful links uh, user defined objects and user defined tables so that's just uh, an, another way of looking at all your groups. Go back into settings. Um, you can set the way user activities work within the system. You can set notifications, um, whether you want reminders, yes or no. OK. And you've also got the ability to edit your home page and the other uh, groups. So you can click on the edit button. It takes you into edit mode. And then you can add groups. You can and you can also add tiles into groups, and then close, and it will automatically save. Okay, so hopefully, and um, that gives you an overview of uh, how the web client looks. And um, there is a user guide that uh, accompanies the web client, which takes you into more detail about how to configure tiles and how to add, add your own tiles. Um, some of the analytic views can be changed. The overview views, you can set your own um, parameters there. And it's a bit like using a pivot table in Excel where you can select um, the, uh, the fields from SAP that you want to, uh, to, to extract. And then you can set filters and sort parameters. Uh, against against those tiles so you can view things in different in different ways. Uh, that's as much as I want to say on the web client. As I say, um, we can supply the user guide if anybody's interested in uh, in more details on how to configure the web client or, or even arrange a, a separate so webinar purely on the, on the web client, taking you in a little more detail. OK, thank you.